So when it comes to TVs, how much are you willing to spend? So £100, £200, possibly even £1,000? And it all depends on what you want. Do you want a 32-inch, a 55-inch, a 72-inch? How about a 120-inch? Now that would be a good size TV. But where can I get one for around about £100? I'm going to tell you. Have you ever thought of getting a projector? Today we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the home theatre, Boom Maker. So guys, yes, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at a projector today. Now, I've never had a projector before, but I've always been intrigued for getting one. And I wanted to see what the big hype was about. So I currently have a 72 inch telly downstairs, I have a 32 inch in the studio and a 55 inch in the bedroom. And I feel like this is going to be more of a cinema view. So unboxing experience, we'll test it out and see how it works. Let's go. So guys, what is going on? So here we have the Boom Maker Home Theatre Projector and this is the C9 version. Now a little bit on the outside of the box, so just starting off with a few things here. We have screen mirroring. Uh, you've got a higher brightness, better colour calibration, and also hi-fi sounds. Apart from that, there's nothing really much else going on in the box, so why don't we just get this unboxed and see where we are going. So just to start off here, we have the projector side here, and then we have an accessory box. So I'll get the projector out, which is boxed very nicely, I have to say. Solid foam either side, so this does have a lens in it, so that's probably something you need, because you, you want the foam to be there to protect it, to make sure it doesn't get damaged in transit. And you've pretty much just wasted a load of money on a product that's now damaged. So let's take a look at the accessories. So in the accessory box, we just have a warranty card here. A little card there from Boomaker to say thank you. We have a screen mirroring um, guide. So it's going to show you how to be doing that. And then you have your user guide as well, which is pretty standard with most products you get online nowadays. And one of some of the other things, so we get a normal remote. So this is pretty basic remote, but it's also going to come in handy. You've got your volume rockers, your inputs, your modes, and then you've got your dial buttons, uh, and then your basic volume and on-off switch. We also have some audio cables here as well. So if this is the what you're going to be using it with. And then we also have the main power adapter, which is a pretty generic power adapter. So it is quite a small length of cable. So if you needed to get a bigger cable, it is a very generic one. So you'd be able to pick these up online for very cheap if you wanted a larger one. And it also comes with a HDMI cable. Same goes with this. Obviously, it depends where your device is going to be, what you want to connect it. You can get uh, much longer HDMI cables. So that's also something to consider. So accessories aside, let's get a little look at the projector. Now, I have been very excited to do this video because um, a projector is definitely something we've been looking for for some time now to get the bedroom into a place where it's like watched basically at the cinema. And this is what we're taking a look at. So this is the Boom Maker C9 projector. So a little bit just about the top here, we have some basic um, buttons here, which will be in replace of, say, the remote. So you've got your basic dial there, on off switch, mode, menu, and also a back button. And you also have an LED indicator there, which is going to tell you whether it's off or on. We have some ports on the back. So we have a VGA cable there, and we also have the infrared interface going on there. And we have some ports on the side. So you've got a HDMI 1 and 2, headphones, AV, and you also have two USB ports as well. And then the front here, we have a nice Boommaker logo there, infrared uh, sensor, and we also have the lens. Now, on the bottom of here, so we have two different thread sizes. So if you wanted to hook this up to a tripod, you definitely could do that. So there's two different thread sizes there. And there is also a little inspection plate here. So this will allow you to get inside to where the projector lenses are to see if they need cleaning or if you, you know you've got some smudges or anything. Now, one thing I did like is the little port here. So this will be the fan at the back because these can get a little bit hot. So you do need a fan on the back. And inside here is a removable filter. So let's see if I can get this off. Just got my little multi-tool here just to help me get this off. So if I just pop this little back off, you can see there we have a removable mesh filter as well. So if you are in a very dusty environment while using this, you can take this out every so often and then just make sure the filters are nice and clean. So that is also very good. And I'll pop that back in there. Really simple to put back in if you do it properly. There we go. That just pops in right there. And then we also have uh, another one on the side here. 
and then we have our main power supply. So the one thing I did like about this, and when I said at the start ever I wanted 120 inch, this go up to 150 inches at a distance of around 4.4 meters. So if you're going to be putting this at around 4.4 meters away from the surface you are working with, you can expand this to a total of 150 meters distance, which is incredible. Now, a little bit about the lens, how I was talking. So we have two dials going on here, one slightly that tilts, and then we have one that fully extends. So this would allow you to adjust it to be like when this is perfectly brightness for you, depending how close you are going to have the surface. You can see it sticks out quite a bit there. Now, the one at the back is actually the tilt. So this is going to allow you to, I'm sure if you'll be able to see that. So inside here, there is a little bit of a tilt. So this is allow, going to allow you to tilt it so if your surface isn't perfectly flat on the wall, you'll be able to slightly tilt it to get that perfect image you want. And then you can play around with the focus ring to see where you are perfectly at. I'm going to go set this up and show you what I mean. So let's go to the bedroom. So as we can see here, I've got mine set up on a tripod which is behind the foot of my bed. It comes up onto a plate. Now this plate was from newer and it's as simple as just a plate with a rubber sheeting on top and a band that's going to allow it to stay steady and then it's got two different types of threads on the inside i'll drop a link in the description where you can pick this up for as well and i've simply just got my power connector into the side and then i just have a simple uh, hard drive plugged in which will have my movies and my films on it so what we're going to do is have a look at what i mean by the screen so so as you can see i have the tripod set up i know it's a little bit dark in here but that's because i'm about to run a projector so don't worry it's a little bit dark so I have the projector set up. I also have a plain white screen. So you can collect these from Amazon for no price at all. There will also be links in the description. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on, I'm gonna adjust it, stick a film on, just show you exactly how clear this is. So I'll speed it up a bit. So as you can see already, by looking at the screen, it is extremely blurry, but don't worry, we are about to fix this. So with one of the dials, as you can see, if I slowly move that dial down, you can see the picture is slowly getting clearer and clearer. And also there is this dial at the top, the one that I was talking about with the tilt. This is also going to allow me to get the perfect angle. So if I get the perfect angle on the flat screen and then slowly tilt, and there we go. So now it is as clear as day. And quickly go over to my hard drive and quickly pop something on. So one second. So that was just a little bit of a preview of what it looked like in the room. And I know the picture wasn't the best because obviously, yes, it is still very sunny outside. So I couldn't get the perfect image to actually show you guys. But alone, the image quality is amazing. So like I said, you can get up to a 150 inch screen, but you have to be about four and a half meters away. But like I said, the instruction manual and the guide inside of here will tell you everything you need to know about the distances and everything else. And some of the, the alone features that you get with this, you know, the hi-fi sound as well. So even though that say if the projector's behind you or above you, it feels like the the sound is coming directly from the projection, which is amazing. Now the screen monitoring as well. So this allows you to either screen your phone, your tablet, your laptop, any of your devices to this. So how you would do that was you would connect to the Wi-Fi from well, you would connect to the mirror and Wi-Fi through the Boom Maker projector. And it will just project exactly what's on your screen to the projector then to the screen even if you are watching videos um simply playing music scrolling youtube youtube videos or even playing games so you could be playing your favorite mobile game or laptop game on a 150 inch screen and it's going to cost you less than 150 pounds and it's unbelievable it's great it really is amazing so there is a lot of features when it comes to this. So I am going to do another separate video explaining them all. I don't want to spend ages explaining to you everything there is about this because that would take me a very long time. So I am going to do a separate video all about the projector just to show you little bits. But if you do have one of these and you're struggling with either setting it up or getting anything working, 
drop down the comment section below and I'm more than happy to help you out. So the way I'm running it, as you saw before, I have a plain white screen that goes across one entire wall. Um, I'm not sure exactly the, the, the exact measurements, but uh, I'll put a link in the description for where you can get that as well. That will also cost you less than £30. You can get different ones though, you can get ones that physically mount in the floor or as a big um, a big square frame, so them ones as well are great. So these are all the different factors that you could use, so if you want to turn your room, your limb room, outdoor area, anything into a cinematic room, then you are going to need one of these. And they are incredible for the price as well, you can do a ton of different things. You know, you can port by HDMI, mirroring, you've got USB ports, AV, microphone, you've got everything going for it. So if you are interested in going to pick one of these up for yourself, if you head down the links in the description, there'll be links there for all of the things we have went through today. And as always, if you have any comments, drop them down below. If you enjoy this video, like, subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my further videos and tech tutorials. Catch you in the next one.